just got in a bird feeder that has a 1080p camera built right on it. Seeing it says uh, bird species recognition automatically record bird arrival notifications 1.25 L seed capacity 1080p live video 160 degree diagonal view angle and IP65 waterproof with a 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi let's get this thing opened up check it out Looks like we have a template and a user manual nicely packed in here our roof our solar panel for charging our mounting hardware for the solar panel a usb to usb-c charging cable mounting screws and a strap to put it around a tree if that's where you're going to put it or wherever you're going to put it and our bird feeder itself is our camera our steel mounting plate mount that up on the fence or wherever a lot of those are plastic. This one's metal. What else do we have down in here? This would be our bird perch where the little birds can sit on there while they're eating. We'll get a better look at this. On this one side, it has the hinge. This side's hinged, so we'll be able to put it in there. We'll snap that on there. Opens up like that. Put your food in there. Like I said, this has a 1080p camera. You can tilt this forward to get a better view of the feeding tray. Underneath here, we have a SD card slot, USB-C charging port, a power button, and a reset button. Let's get this thing put together and get it put up here and see if we can get some birds eating out of our new bird feeder. With a large island wrench to put it together. Forgot to mention, on the back side it has a, a Wi Fi terminal. You screw your Wi Fi antenna onto here. Otherwise, you can uh, connect it to your local Wi Fi. We'll have to download the app that installed. Has a USB C slot right here. That, that's where we'll hook up our solar panel. It'll plug in just like that. We'll put that up where it can get some sun. That way we can keep that battery good and charged. We can get this thing put together. We'll get it mounted up here and we'll see what there is to see. Okay, we got it charged up and ready to go. We're gonna get this mounted up here, right there. Okay, we have the mounting bracket up here. Now just the FYI, there's three holes up here for this to go on there like that. But number one, it won't go up flush against there. It won't go there. Plus, this is too long and it'll hit the back of the bird feeder and uh, it won't work right there. So you're going to have to take your solar panel and mount it to the side somewhere. Just FYI. Let's get that done now. All right, we got our solar panel mounted up here. Just want it within reason, you know, where the cable will reach the bird feeder. Then we will take our bird feeder, we'll set it up here, and we'll take our bolt and our Allen wrench. The holes lined up. Get our bird feeder up there, and there we have it. Get our cover off of our lens, fill the bird feeder up, get the app hooked up to the camera, and then we'll see what kind of video we have. But first, we need to plug the solar panel back in. Solar panel plugged in, we should be good to go. Make sure that's pointing up. Now your power button is right here on top. Go ahead and hit that. That sound tells you you're ready to hook up to Bluetooth, so let's go get the phone and get it hooked up. All right, we got our camera hooked up to the phone, which is a simple thing to do. Just open the app up and it'll say connecting through the Bluetooth and you're good to go. We get this cover back over these buttons. We'll get this bird food in here and then we'll wait for a bird. There we go. Here, birdie, 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 bird. Just kidding. Let's go back inside where it's cool. We can watch the camera through our phone now.